What's up everybody? It is I, Hero Vange, and welcome to my very first Ferocious Cup tournament. This was held on uh, Chimchar Community Day. It happened after the event and I was actually pretty exhausted. But uh, the one thing that I have to say about this tournament is that I really wish that I waited it. Anyways, without further ado, my team was Alolan Sandslash with Powder Snow, Ice Punch, and Gyro Ball. Umbreon with Snarl, Last Resort, and Foul Play. Big shout out to Kevzo for uh, trading me this. Thank you so much. Alolan Ninetales with Charm, Psyshock, and Ice Beam. Now, if you're wondering what defense this is, it's at 137.5, so it's pretty good, but it's not the best. B Barrel, B Barrel. Water Gun, Surf, and Hyper Fang. Shell Gun with Dragon Breath, Twister, and Flamethrower. And finally, Nido Queen with Poison Jab, Earthquake, and Earth Power. Now my first opponent, 001 Dragon, and she has no Charm Pokemon. So what I did was, I brought two Fantastic Generalists who have Charm as their weakness, Shell Gun, and of course, Umbreon. And I'm fully prepared to burn both shields on my Umbreon because it's gonna do a lot of... It's gonna do a lot of stuff, right? And also, just in case, just in case he brings in that Alolan Sand Slash, I bring in B Barrel. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's see how we do. All right, so we start the match off with Umbreon versus Nido Queen. Fantastic first start. I'm going to burn both my shields and also pray that I don't get the deep debuff. Okay, so yeah, in the back, if he has Alolan Sand Slash. Then my B barrel can handle it, right? And, and especially like at zero shield uh, scenario, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. So we'll see. So anyways, he throws an earth power. I don't get the debuff. It's fantastic. I throw a foul play. He blocks it. Nice. I get to a foul play before he gets to throw the second charge attack. Is he gonna block? Let's see. No, he takes it. And oh, he's actually able to get the second earth power again. I'm fully prepared to burn both shields on my Umbreon because a little bit of lag there, right? Because he doesn't have a charmer, right? So yeah, he pops up with a Raticate and I was like, I was actually surprised. I, I didn't even notice it on his uh, team of six and I was like, oh, whoops, through the foul play. It is what it is. Okay, I swap to my Shell Gun. I have Last Resort anyway, so, you know, kind of hiding it from him. But I didn't do that on purpose. I was just, I was just being dumb, right? Anyways, he pops up with the Alolan uh, Sand Slash as, as predicted, right? Because he, he saw Shell Gun on my team, right? So yeah, I throw the Flamethrower, burn that last shield. Now I, I have B-Barrel ready to go. Okay, popping off with B-Barrel. He's gonna throw Bulldoze for sure. Okay, he's got Bulldoze. He doesn't have Gyro Ball, interesting. Not, oh, actually, I noticed also that he has Metal Claw as the fast attack. That's actually pretty important to, to note in your head, right? So yeah, that means that he doesn't get to the Ice Punch as fast as... That means basically that... He doesn't kill Umbreon, that's it. Powder Snow gets really close but still loses, but it gets really close and so if you're like scratched up, if you have like an Umbreon that's scratched up, it can kind of beat your Umbreon. So anyways, I throw the last resort. GG game one. Nice. Noise. Alright, so for game two, what I'm doing is I'm just swapping the flow, still the same uh, three Pokemon, right? It's just I'm leading with Shell Gone, and I have B-Barrel as like the safe switch just in case he has Alolan Sand Slash up front, right? If he has Alolan Sand Slash up front, I can swap to my B-Barrel because I know that my Umbreon can handle it later on, right? Because, yeah, I mean, it's a Metal Claw variant, right? So basically, same three months, he doesn't have a Charmer, let's see how we do. Alright, so we start the match off with... Raichu and this actually worried me because I thought for a sec that it was a charm Raichu right which would be horrible think about it right I have B barrel so I mean yeah but I mean it's not so this is fantastic I don't need to block because he threw too early uh he threw what was it like brick break he pops off with Nido Queen. I throw the Twister. I'm like, you know what? This isn't a bad matchup, right? So this isn't a bad matchup. Let me hit it with a Twister. Swap to my B Barrel. Farm it up. I don't need to block this, right? Yeah, farm it down. Okay, and then let's see if I can throw before the Raichu gets to the charge attack. Let's see. Uh, so I can get the shield. No. Okay. Let, that's okay. Let B Barrel go. It's all good. It's all good. I don't need the B Barrel for a Lulin Sand Slash. Uh, because I have my Umbreon, right? So yeah, anyways, pop off with the Shell Gun. If he gets a throw and if he kills me, it's okay. I still have two shields on my Umbreon. He has one shield, uh, so that last Pokemon is going to go down. I was still able to kill the Raichu. It's a Lulin Radicate, right? So here, I'm actually gonna try to QSA just to make it like a little bit more. He's throwing like straight Hyper Fang, right? So I'm, I'm like, obviously I'm a block, right? So uh, here I am trying to QSA. There, 
but I feel a couple of <laughs> I feel I feel a couple of times because I haven't really like mastered mastered uh, QSAing, right? But you know, the effort counts. That the effort counts. All right. Okay. So it's, it's, as you can see there, I I, I pulled it off right there. Nice. Great. Okay. So the hyper fang hits me. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna throw. He's gonna block. I don't think he's blocked yet. Okay. He blocks. And now I have to get to the uh, the last resort. And I did get to the last resort. And uh, yeah. Nice. Clean win. GG. Alright, so I take battle one, but for this last match, I decided to take a risk, right? What has he been bringing that's kind of like consistently being annoying? It's Alolan Radicate, right? Alolan Radicate, if I, you know, get to the end with my Umbreon, I have to kind of like uh, play it really, really clean with a QSA, right? To get a surefire win, right? Because if he baits or something, if he plays it a little bit tricky, maybe he could like pull off a win on my Umbreon plus... It's a legacy, right? So, not the best PvP IVs. So, I was thinking, you know what? Let me surprise him by bringing my Alula Ninetales. Let me take Shellgun out. The problem is, um, he has Alula Sandslash with Metal Claw. So, I have to protect my uh, Alula Ninetales from that Alula Sandslash. Because if not, GG, right? So, it's it's kind of like a calculated risk, right? He's been bringing that Alula Renegade uh, consistently. Alulan Sandslash, no, he didn't bring it in game two type situation. So I'm thinking, you know what? This is probably gonna work, all right? So let's see what <laughs> let's see what happens. Dang it, you know, I feel like I spoiled the surprise um, by, you know, laughing a little bit there. So anyways, I get the lead, right? So it's a Metal Claw variant, um, uh, Alulan Sandslash. I'm gonna be able to take this out, no problem, man. No problem, no problem. Easy, easy, okay? But... I am gonna pull off one of the most genius strats right here. Next level. <laughs> don't, 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 don't click out. Don't click out. Don't, 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 don't. This is just, this is an example of, you know, the, the high quality, top tier gameplay that you get on the uh, Battle Hero channel. Just the best swaps, just the best strats, you know. Just. Oh my god! <laughs> Why'd you do that, Vange? What were you think? What were you thinking, bro? What were you think? I wasn't thinking. That's the thing. <laughs> and then I pop off with the Umbreon. What would, you know, I, I was still thinking that he was gonna bring the Alolan Renegade, right? So the last Pokemon is Gun Tank. This sucks. Right now, his uh, Alolan Sand Slash is aligned to my Alolan Nine Tails. Okay. All right, this is a horrible, horrible uh, situation here. So yeah, I'm like, you know what? I, I won. I won battle one already. Okay, I don't need to. I don't need to, you know, hurt my brain trying to figure out what what to do here. It's okay, right? It's okay. Okay. I, hey, I got the auto go plus going on. Okay, cool, nice. It's still on that grind because you know. The Timeless Cup is coming up, so, you know, still have to grind, okay? I don't know what to talk about right now. You got snacks? You got soda? Oh, man, we are starting off with some powerful plays, man. Swap in your B-Barrel on the right shoe. Oh, my God. Top-level plays. GG. My next opponent, Choco Rasp, has a very interesting team. He's got double waters. One of them is Suicune. The other one is Vaporeon. Interesting, right? And he has a Lolan Raichu. Spice pick. You know the difficult part about uh, facing off against Suicune is that you have to play really kind of like blocky. You you can't be like swapping in and out as much as you you would normally do because if he spreads that bubble beam, your team is toast, right? Your team is nerfed, right? Plus, um, people tend to kind of like play him in in like a variety of ways. Some people like him up front as a lead, right? So he can like slide out, sliding Suicune style. Um, other people like to use him as like a safe switch. Other people like to use him as a finisher because Snarl Hydro Pump is really fast, right? So they kind of like look for a shield advantage and then they just like like pound um, Hydro Pumps, right? Type of thing. So it's it's very difficult. I get kind of stressed out whenever I see it on like a team of six. So this is my answer to this. I have two generalists, Shellgun, Umbreon, and uh, Nido Queen to protect them from Nine Tails. Okay, so. They can kind of handle Suicune as well. And if I can get Umbreon on Suicune, that would be like the best, the best case scenario. Because even if Umbreon is nerfed um, attack-wise, 
the bulk, right? The defense, like the defensive capabilities isn't uh, nerfed. So, you know, the best part of Umbreon is basically still there, right? And he's pretty spammy, so you know, let me just throw it, keep throwing and throwing and throwing, okay? So yeah, let's see how we do. All right, so we start the match off with a bad lead matchup. It is Suikun. So he's like the lead type person, right? Suikun lead type uh, person. So I swapped him with Shell Gone. All right, if uh, Ninetales pops off, oh, he throws a Bubble Beam, nice. If uh, Ninetales pops off, the nice thing about Shell Gone is you have Flamethrower, right? So yeah, but the things I got nerfed, right? So he doesn't have the block. Smart. Now my Nido Queen is not gonna get as much energy and that kind of sucks that that actually sucks so the thing is this right here it, it's debatable whether i should block this or not because i can survive it uh and i guess you know the suicune isn't isn't gonna farm me that i don't know honestly it's debatable right but it was great that i blocked it right watch this okay so i got one earth power he's gonna throw it's gonna be a bubble beam okay and then he's gonna have like this awkward okay i get to throw another Earth power, so second Earth power, right? I'm gonna get a lot out of this Needle Queen, okay? So that's two Earth powers, okay? He had that awkward swap to Vaporeon, right? Um, and so I was able to get off this Earth Quake, and so I got like I got a lot of charge attacks from my 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 Needle Queen. That's a lot more than you you usually get, right? So yeah, fantastic. Okay, so here I'm I'm trying to play it smart, okay? So here I am. I'm trying to overcharge my Umbreon. I I know I don't have to block anything from this just in case. His uh, Suicune is packing like a Hydro Pump at the end. I, I want to be prepared with the shield. I, I charged up to two Foul Plays so that I can get the throw before he Bubble Beams me. Okay, he's almost dead. I block. Scary thing. Ice Beam. Whoa. So my Shell got My Shell Gone. I had to get rid of my Shell Gone. Had to. Why? Because with Ice Beam, that's two Pokemon that it can potentially kill. Like his Suicune can kill my Nidoqueen and my Shell Gone. And it throws really fast. I don't want to get caught in like that stressful situation where you think it's an ice beam, you block, and it's a bubble beam. And then he gets an ice beam off and it's it's just gonna suck, right? So I decided to bring in Alula Ninetales as another anti-water Pokemon because I guess if Suicune has uh, ice beam, it's not gonna be that great at fighting uh, Ninetales, right? Plus I know that Vaporeon, I can handle Vaporeon. I hit the... I almost hit the the best bulk point for Vaporeon, right? So I can I'm I'm pretty sure I can handle it, right? So yeah, and it kind of doubles up as an anti charm as well, I guess. I mean, it's a mirror match, but you know, I mean, it, there's some advantages, but definitely not shell gone for this matchup. Uh, let's see how we do. All right, so we start the match off with Vaporeon, shiny Vaporeon. So I'm thinking, you know what? This is probably a legacy, so it doesn't have the best PvP IVs, which is not good for me because I probably don't hit the bulk point, right? If I hit the bulk point, my Ninetales is gonna come out with like 30 HP, so obviously I don't hit the bulk point. But still, since I have decent IVs on my Ninetales, I can come out with like single digit HP. It's fine, I get the throw. Okay, Psyshock, nice, it's Suicune. Which is okay. I mean, we can handle it. We've got Umbreon in the back. Just don't align it with Nido Queen. Okay, great. Umbreon. Okay, so he's gonna get the throw right away, which kind of sucks. But again, uh, it's not that bad. I mean, with Umbreon, the best part of Umbreon is is really like the bulk, right? The bulk and uh, the spam ability, right? So that like that doesn't get nerfed with Bubble Beams. He got to throw two Bubble Beams before I got to throw off. Uh, the first foul play, but I did get to another one. So yeah, I mean we're gonna be able to take this out I guess it's not as close as hydro pump is because it, it, you know with hydro pump He has to hit you with two hydro pumps, but I mean it's a possibility, right? But I mean it's a possibility Okay, so yeah, so I'm just throwing a straight foul play anticipating the swap he swaps I swap boom Got it got it. Okay. I actually got really nervous right here because I tapped on the earth power Again, I was not thinking, right? Obviously, you want to farm down throw at the next Pokemon, right? But I, I wasn't thinking, okay? So, yeah. Um, I throw, and now I don't have any shields. And I'm finding this uh, Suicune. Thank God it was at really low HP. Yeah. And he decides to throw Bubble Beam, so... GG. Alright, so we take battle number two. But for match number three, my bet was that, one, he was not gonna bring his Suicune. Two, he was gonna bring his Skuntank. Why? Because... 
I realized that his team is a little bit weak to Alolan Ninetales, right? Except for Skuntank, okay? So his team is a little bit weak to Alolan Ninetales. He's probably gonna bring Skuntank. He's not gonna bring his Suicune and I can kind of like sandwich mode this thing, right? He probably has Skuntank in the back as, as a safe swap. He probably has Vaporeon up front as a, a lead. That was, that's, that was like the thinking, okay? So yeah, let's see how we do. Some people, I swear, like you, you flex the uh, Alolan Ninetales, right? You flex the Alolan Ninetales. And they bring in Umbreon. I oh my I I don't know how this works. I, like this has been happening to me in Sinister, right? In Sinister, I I do like the same thing. Like I flex the the one thing that uh this certain Pokemon is weak to. They bring it in. I, I bring in like tri triple ghost. Okay, triple ghost in Sinister. The next battle out pops out Medicham. Okay, so what? <laughs> Now this match right here, you can actually win with Shellgon, right? You can do it with Shellgon if you have good PvP IVs because it, it, it is tight. It is tight, right? And if you land the flamethrower. But what he did was he blocked the flamethrower, right? And he pulled off a really clean QSA so that like obliterated me, okay? So yeah, nice. Good job, Choco Rasp. Now this Umbreon is just gonna go on a rampage because all I have is the mirror. He probably has a little nine tails in the back. So my plan was... The moment that Alolan Ninetales pops off, right? So I'm gonna farm this down, okay? I'm gonna farm this down, okay? The moment that Alolan Ninetales pops off, okay? I'm gonna swap immediately, scratch it up just a little bit with my Nidoqueen just to get a little bit of energy and maybe power through the next Pokemon, right? Maybe power through the next Pokemon. But the thing is, it is Vaporeon. So my, my other uh, prediction, right, that he wasn't gonna bring Suicune came true to bite me in the butt, okay? I The thing is, I did not see the Umbreon coming, right? He, I, it makes no sense to me. I bring in the Alolan Ninetales, he brings in Umbreon. I'm like, why, why? <laughs> it works out for him though. It's great for him, but man, why? It makes no sense to me. Same thing in Sinister. I bring the Triple Ghost, dude. Dude, I bring the Triple Ghost. Next match, Medicham pops out and it beats me. So I'm like, why? It's just, why? I, I get out predicted, man, but GG. Now my next opponent, Iru Plano. People actually call him Battle Iru, which is hilarious, okay? Has a team that is kind of weak to Nidoqueen, right? He's got the Skuntank, he's got the Minon, plus Alolan Ninetales. That's three Pokemon that is weak to Nidoqueen. Then you got the Mirror, which is basically just a contest of who can throw first, right? So it's an energy thing for sure. Now, the only problem that Nidoqueen has in this lineup is B-Barrel, right? And so all I have to do is protect my Nidoqueen from B-Barrel and I can maybe, most likely, pull off a win, right? Let's see. We start off with Minun. Fantastic lead matchup. I'm gonna farm up, and I should have thrown my energy right here. Instead, I biffed the swap into my shell gun, and because I biffed the swap, and you're gonna see another really stupid mistake here, when I get to the twister, right, I'm gonna miss two balls. Did you see those two balls? It just, like, plopped on the floor. Yeah, that sucks, because if I got those two balls, you see that HP? the Nidoqueen would be dead. Instead, I'm burning both shields to maintain switch advantage because I need that Minun matchup, right? I need that Minun matchup. So the thing is, I don't have to block with Minun, so I'm like, I'm pretty uh, safe blocking two times with Shellgon and it's great, okay? So now, even with all the mistakes, because he didn't bring um, his Alolan Ninetales, it's kind of hard for me to lose this match, right? It's it's very difficult for me to lose this match. Now, his uh, Skuntank is pretty scratched up, and he does this um, thing here. He blocks uh, my last resort right here, okay? So he's gonna block this. Boom, block. So I was like, okay, I have energy. Let me insta-kill it with my Nidoqueen, which is fantastic. So for all the mistakes that I did, I was able to pull off, like, a, you know, pr pretty respectable play, right? Pretty respectable, okay? And so... Yeah, we got this pretty clean uh, final match through the Earth Power. GG, good first match. Good first match. I was uh, feeling pretty confident about this line. It's pretty hard to lose with this if he doesn't bring his Alula Ninetales and, you know, set it up right, right? So the thing is, um, I was anticipating that he would uh, he would bring his Alula Ninetales because, you know, that's basically like what I showed him in the first match, right? I showed him Shellgon, Umbreon. So, you know, I'm thinking, you know what? He's gonna bring that Ninetales, so I'm uh, I'm preparing to have like a safe swap so that I can save my Nido Queen from uh, whatever is up front, so that I can you know basically align it to the Alolan Ninetales. All right, we start off with Umbreon. Pay attention, okay? I'm going to farm up a little bit, just a little bit, and then I'm going to swap to my Umbreon. You're gonna see that he stops here for like a sec. He probably checked his tray, right? So I was like, 
when I saw that, I was like, you don't have your Lulu Nine Tail. So here I am, Q was saying, I'm like, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident that uh, he doesn't have his Alula Nine Tails in the back. So you know what? Q was saying, playing this uh, mirror match the right way, you're gonna see like the like a huge difference when you Q was saying. Okay, so gonna get off these uh, last resorts. I am gonna block uh, this next one right here. Because usually people don't throw the foul play until like the last, you know, just 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 to pressure you to block, right? And so, you know, I, I want to make sure to, to block the, the last resort and not the foul play, right? So, yeah. Anyways, gonna go for the last resort. Let's see, if, is, is he gonna block? Okay, he blocks there. But since I've been QSAing, I get to the last resort and I get to actually beat this Umbreon that had the energy advantage on me. Like, that is insane, dude, right? And I still get to throw on the Nido Queen. That's actually, oh my god, crazy, right? Crazy. So, he takes out my Umbreon. I'm gonna go for the Shell Gun right here, all right? Okay, straight Dragon Breath. That thing is getting shredded up. Sh shred shredded, shredded up. I know English, okay? Stone Edge blocked it. Gonna go um, uh, Twister here, okay? Looking really good, okay? And he is going to get to the charge move, but I am going to survive this. Okay, he's gonna throw Stone Edge again. Okay, cool. What's the last Pokemon? Let's see. It is B Barrel. Now, this looks pretty scary, right? But the thing is, in the zero shield scenario, plus with a little bit of energy that I farmed up from that Umbreon matchup, which is not really fatal, you get the Earthquake. GG. Now, for this last match, I've got the same lineup, but we had multiple restarts. Like, I think we had like three restarts and so I figured out that he still didn't bring his Alolan Ninetales and so I'm gonna play this like a completely different way watch all right so we start the match off with Umbreon once again now I am going to throw straight earth power gonna go try to get the uh, the debuff right the thing is he doesn't have Alolan Ninetales so I I don't have to save my Nido Queen okay so I'm, I'm just throwing, I'm just straight throwing earth power at this thing, okay? It's in the yellow now. He's gonna get off a foul play. Cool beans, cool, you know, okay, he's get, he gets off a double, okay? Nice. I see you, okay, with the, the double uh, foul play. But I'm still gonna get to another uh, earth power. He's trying to go for the debuff, right, okay? I throw, he blocks. Now, my Umbreon is in a really, really good spot, okay? I got two shields. I got this mirror match, okay? I got the shield advantage. I got some energy he just swapped out to his Nido Queen. We're looking great, okay? And that's basically GG. That's it. That's basically... Because we had, like, multiple restarts. That Like, the first restart, I was so close to winning, actually, that I actually felt a little bit bad. The second restart was actually, like, pretty early. I... Oh no, we only had two restarts. Two restarts. Yeah, two restarts. But yeah, either way, because I now know his line of three and he, he knows my line of three, I can basically like play it this way to get like a pretty convincing finish, right? Actually, what I was doing in the first match was I was playing it like the the second match that we had, right? You know, farm up with Nido Queen and then swap out to my uh, Umbreon type of situation. But with this uh, situation, I can have my Umbreon. Oh, I, I should have like swapped there, right? To my shell gone, right? But hey, it is what it is, okay? But yeah, I... It, it is what it is. GG. <laughs> I, I basically put my Umbreon into, like, the best situation possible, right? So, yeah, no need to throw. GG. Now my next opponent, 00gibo27, has three Pokemon, Nidoqueen, Alula Ninetales, and Linoon, who lose to Alolan Sandslash, my Alolan Sandslash, right? And since he has Alolan Sandslash, that means that Nido Queen is a little bit uh, risky to use because if he decides to bring that, that's not a good situation for my Nido Queen. And also because of his Alolan Sandslash, right? I'm a little bit afraid of using Shell Gone, and since he had two anti-charm uh, Pokemon, I'm afraid of using Alolan Ninetales. So basically, like this is this is all I've got, you know? This is all I've got. Let's see if it works out. All right, so we start the match off with Umbreon versus Alolan Sandslash. This is not bad. Honestly, this is not bad. I'm just happy that it's not, you know, Alolan Ninetales, okay? So I'm here I am, Q was saying, he's gonna throw. What is it? He's got a Powder Snow, okay? So yeah, Bulldoze. Interesting, okay? So I'm gonna go uh, Foul Play, and since I Q was aid, I get to throw back to back. So I'm Q was saying here to make sure that um, fast attacks don't get through while I, I do a charge move, right? Because that might determine, like, the the win here. Because 
this matchup is actually pretty close. Plus, since I have the legacy, I don't have the best PvP IVs, right? So, yeah, but... Okay, so he decided not to block. Out comes Alolan Ninetales. All right! So I've got it aligned, at least, right? Aligned the right way. Now, I'm a little bit worried about what he has in the back. He swaps to B-Barrel. This is bad. Uh, his B-Barrel has the energy advantage. So I'm like, you know what? Burn both shields. He threw the Hyper Fang. I'm like, okay, that's fantastic. That is great, okay? Don't block this. Please, please don't block this. He didn't block it. Amazing, amazing. So I'm like, you know what? Let's make it a sure thing. I can get that shield back. Okay? I, I can for sure get that shield back from this Alula Nine Tails. Okay, so I'm through and surf. One. Maybe I can get two shields. We'll see. We'll see, okay? He blocked that first one, all right? Got to the second surf. Fantastic. Is he gonna block? Let's see. He blocks. Amazing. This is great. So my Alula Sand Slash is basically like set up for the kill. So the Gyro Ball. GG. I got scared there. B Barrel, B Barrel. I'm scared. All right, for the second match. I'm bringing exactly the same thing. Why? Why not a flow swap? Because if he's gonna bring in that Alula Ninetales, he is going to save it in the back to make it a sure thing for my Umbreon, right? That's what I'm thinking, okay? But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Actually, before this, we had a restart, right? Because I had some lag. I asked for a restart and he gave it to me. Nice guy. Thank you so much. Very good sportsman, okay? Ah, <sighs> Ninetales, man. Ninetales. And so I swapped to my B-Barrel. Okay, fortunately for me, I knew that he had um, a B-Barrel and an Alulan Sand Slash, right? So, because of the restart. But I'm basically playing it exactly the way that I played it in the first match, except that uh, I'm gonna show you, like, what, what I changed, okay? So, I'm, I'm throwing the Surf, right? I'm gonna block here just to maintain the switch advantage, right? Okay, block. Nice. And then farm down. In the first match, he... He actually um, blocked the first, uh, the, the charge move, right? And it was a surf. And so I swapped it to Hyper Fang because I was anticipating, uh, anticipating, I speak, I, I speak English. I speak English. I pronounce things. I was anticipating that he was going to not block, right? With his Alula Ninetales. Okay, so yeah, fantastic. And so, yeah, we got this fantastic uh, alignment happening, right? I got my Alula Sand Slash aligned to his nine tails and i've got you know this bulldoze alulan sand slash which would totally 100 percent wreck my um my non-bulldoze alulan sand slash in the zero shield scenario right and uh it's aligned to my umbreon which is the best case scenario so yeah I, actually i was gonna win the first match anyway so yeah my opponent was just being a good sportsman okay which is important right Okay, yeah, that's that's all I got to say. You know, enjoying the video so far? We're doing good, right? We're doing good. Okay, throw the ice punch. Good match. GG. All right, so we're currently undefeated, right? 4-0. Fantastic. But for this third match, I'm playing exactly the same thing. Let's see how we do. All right. He actually adapted in a really fantastic way, right? So he now knows my line of three. And I guess he was like betting that I wouldn't swap or like yeah I wouldn't change the the lineup right and so he plays this like um the way that I played that one match where I had like multiple restarts right so this Nido Queen he doesn't care about it, right he does not care about this it's just there to do damage to my Umbreon to force me to block right so yeah instead of throwing two earth powers um he's gonna throw one earthquake one earth power right so here he gets to the earth power I have to block and I should have blocked two times, right, on my Umbreon. But the thing is, I didn't know that he um, opted not to bring his his Alula Ninetales, okay? So, yeah, I'm gonna pull out the B-Barrel. There's gonna be some lag here, right? I'm not sure if... I'm actually not... Yeah, yeah, th th that's some lag. Okay, that's just lag, right? But he plays this in, like, a really, really smart way, right? So, he's gonna force the, uh, the Zero Shield scenario here, okay? He's gonna make sure that um, his... Alulan Sand Slash is aligned to my Alulan Sand Slash in the Zero Shield, which is really smart because he now knows that his Alulan Sand Slash um, basically kills my Alulan Sand Slash because he has Bulldoze. Okay? So that's the thing. So even if his um, Alulan Sand Slash in the back has such low HP, right? He knows that I'm not gonna swap in my Alulan Sand Slash on this B Barrel, obviously, right? And so, yeah, even if I kill this B Barrel, he's gonna have. His Alolan Sand Slash kill my Alolan Sand Slash because the, I can't throw anything except for Ice Punch, right? He's gonna get to Bulldoze before I get to the, the Heavy Slam. 
right after one there so i would not have gotten to the heavy slam to kill him right and wow good match now the final boss monster for this tournament is Rizachi. She was the only person that was undefeated at the time. So it's me versus her. And when my friend told me that we were the only two people uh, undefeated, I was like, well, you know, I mean, for once, great. <laughs> for the Ferocious Cup, all of our practice battles, me versus Rizachi, right? I've lost all of them, every single one. Like, I've had like maybe two or three sets with her like uh this whole time just practice battle she's been busy with work i always like hit her up to, to battle but i always lose anyways she's got double water and it kind of makes me want to use my shellgun umbreon strat but the thing is she's got a lulan sand slash so i can't put shellgun and nido queen together at this point in time i was trying to remember right does rizachi like to lead with a lulan nine tails I was trying to remember, but I really couldn't. I like I maybe for like a battle or two, she led with the Lula Knight. I I don't I don't remember, but I was kind of like scared. So I was thinking of like what safe switch would be really good for her team, and I I was thinking, you know what, B Barrel would be a pretty good safe switch for her team because she doesn't really have like a hard water counter except for Umbreon. So I was like, you know what. Bring the bibs, bring the bibs. And then, you know, since Nido Queen is kind of like scary to use against her Alolan Sand Slash, I'm using Alolan Sand Slash as my anti-charm Pokemon. So I'm basically, I'm, I'm stuck with this lineup again because I have nothing else, okay? So yeah, let's see how we do. All right, so we start the match off with one of the most boring matches in all of Ferocious Cup, Umbreon Mirror Match. So here I am, QSAing, right? I'm gonna QSA all day, every friggin' day, right? I'm just gonna go queso, 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 all right? So she's gonna throw first. I get off the uh, auto fire, nice. So I, it worked out. And then I'm gonna try to QSA again, okay? I'm gonna try to QSA again. Dang it, it popped off. It popped off. And she gets off a clean auto fire on my on my Umbreon. So I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna win this? I need this switch advantage, man. How, I, I need this switch advantage. I got the QSA again. Nice, she threw first. This is great, this is wonderful, all right? And I'm gonna get the auto fire. Great, it's, it's just like a QSA battle. One of the most boring battles ever. And I was like thinking, you know what? Swap to the bibs. Take the friggin' energy, right? So I swapped in my B barrel. And uh, since she doesn't have a hard counter to uh, the bibs, she swapped in her B barrel. And right here, I should have blocked. Dang it, I should have blocked. It was a hyper fang. Oh my god, dude. So uh, since I had the energy advantage, I threw a surf. Okay, she blocked it. And she farms me. So at least I at least got that, you know, I, I got the, the shield, right? And like an idiot, I pulled out my Alolan Sand Slash. I should have pulled out my Umbreon because that thing was basically dead, right? I could have used it as like an extra shield. Moron. But at least I got some extra energy. So this is like a, it's like a, we're having like a trade-off battle, okay? Her Umbreon was almost dead. I'm gonna throw, okay, Alolan Sand I'm gonna throw, is she gonna block? Actually, this, this is a win either way. She didn't block. Fantastic. Our battle looked a lot like we were both merchants and we were just like trading advantages, disadvantages, and uh, yeah, but you know, the the crucial thing there was winning that that QSA battle, right? I determined that um, the switch advantage was not as important as having the energy advantage with my B-barrel, right? That was the winning move there, I think, I think, right? I could have played the rest like a little bit cleaner, but... It was also kind of nice that I was able to farm down the B barrel with my sand slash and then the Umbreon with my sand slash and you know, yeah. But you know, difficult, difficult to prioritize, right? All right, so for the next match, my bet was that since I didn't bring my Alolan Ninetales in the first match, right? In the first match, and since I didn't also bring, you know, Shellgun, right? She's not gonna bring her Alolan sand slash in the next match. So this is kind of like a, a hard flow swap, right? Uh, and if she does bring her Alolan Sand Slash, I'm screwed. You know this match? I, you know, I could've... We'll talk about it later. Anyways, so I formed down a little bit and then I'm going to swap to the mirror, okay? I think she was Q was saying, right? That's why when I swapped, it auto-fired the uh, foul play, right? So yeah. And then she uh, swaps to her counter, right? So the reason why I, I swapped to the Umbreon and not the uh, Shellgun is because I didn't want to know if she had 
the Olulan sand slash. So in my head, I'm like, I don't want to know. But my bet is that she doesn't have it, right? So I, I don't, I don't want to know if she actually has it. Just we'll find out later. And if if she has it, then I'm screwed, right? <laughs> that, that's kind of like me. Ballsy move. I didn't block the side shock, right? So yeah, I, I really want that shield advantage. That Umbreon is, you know, uh, gonna have low HP. I actually biffed the the press, right? I pressed on Earthquake. I was gonna go for the Earth Power, but then I I don't know. I was like. I was hesitating and then when it hit I was like you know what I can maybe fast attack this thing down and if the last Pokemon is a water Pokemon right which is highly likely unless she has a Lulin Sand Slash but it's not it's B-Barrel I can maybe water uh I mean fast attack this thing down and then maybe fast attack the rest with my my Nido Queen right so but you know what I Oh man, I should have blocked that. <laughs> Alright, so for the first match, she didn't block my charge attack. For the second match, I didn't block her charge attack. And now, we're going all out. Look at this team comp, guys. Take a look at it, okay? She has a double water team comp. I mean, like, line of six, okay? This is a stupid, moronic, idiotic team comp. Alright, so what's this all about, right? Let me tell you, okay? This is gonna require three things for it to work, right? The first two kind of make sense. Kind of make sense. The third one does not. Like, really does not, okay? So here's the thing, right? The first bet is that because I led with Nidoqueen in the last match and I could have won if I just blocked the Hyper Fang, okay? Then she would lead with B-Barrel. That is, that is the first bet, right? That she leads with B-Barrel. The second one is that now this is a little bit weird right but it, it's gonna make sense that she doesn't have vaporeon in the back now she hasn't used it this whole time right so it kind of makes sense first two kind of makes sense be better a little bit risky vaporeon a little bit more sense the third one does not make any sense okay and that is that she does not bring her alolan sand slash why doesn't that make any sense because my team comp earlier, right, the Nidoqueen, Shellgon, uh, Umbreon, is weak to Alolan Sand Slash. So that's the bet. Now, she's a friend of mine, right? And it is her weighted cup. So in my head, it's like this, right? You know what? If it works, it'll work. If it doesn't work, it's all good. I was gonna be happy with 4-1 anyway, right? But it's gonna be horrific, okay? Because if, if there's a water Pokemon in the back, I'm dead. If there's Alolan Sand Slash in the back, uh, okay, I'm dead because mine does not have bulldoze. Okay, all right. So yeah, let's see how we do. First matchup. Got it. First bet. First bet, guys. Okay. Nice. Hitting the foul play. All right. I just want to get this thing out of here. No QSA. No fancy moves. I just want to get this thing out of here because that thing is dangerous. Swap to Alolan Nine Tails. It's all good. It's all good. Working out. Okay. Swap to. Nido Queen. Okay, nice. Saving the Alolan Sand Slash because it's got a, it's got a little bit of like wider range type of situation. I think you know Ice Punch still hurts. B barrels, not really, but you know yeah, it'll work. Okay, gonna throw the Earth Power right. Throw the Earth Power. It's Umbreon. No Alolan Sand Slash. No Vaporeon. No Alolan Sand Slash. No Vaporeon. This is amazing. Plus, she blocked the Earth Power, so I hit the Earthquake, and I, I, you know, I'm, I'm like threatening her to hit another Earth Power, so she has to throw that energy. Okay, nice. Now I'm gonna come out with my Alolan Sand Slash, obviously, because this thing is scratched up, and uh, this is a close match. Powder Snow, uh, Straight Ice Punch can get Umbreon to like single-digit HP, but I don't need to uh, like risk blocking now and stuff because there's like this one shield type situation It's basically like in my favor right now. The pressure is on her, right? And then I swap to my Umbreon Get a little bit of extra energy right here. I'm gonna block. I don't care what it is I'm a block just to make sure I'm gonna go for the foul play Just to, just to make sure right make sure okay, and I'm gonna get it. Well, she's gonna get to uh, a hyper fang It's gonna do oh no a, a surf it does a good a bit of damage, a good, good, a good a bit of damage, a good a bit of damage, <laughs> and wow, yo, I got lucky, right? I got mega lucky in this tournament, right? I, like the bets that they were like way too deep, like the team comps were so specific to like the the predictions and 
insanely lucky in this tournament, right? So yeah, I, I feel like I I really feel like I don't deserve this. Um, I feel like I just got lucky, especially like at the end there, like the bets were just insane, dude. I was talking to Rizachi after, right? I was like, why did you lead the barrel? And she was like, well, I led Umbreon two times and I was anticipating that you were gonna lead um, Ninetales. That's actually pretty smart. It's not the same as my bet, right? But it works, right? It works, right? I didn't even notice that she led um, Umbreon twice. I didn't, I just got lucky, man. And then I asked her, why didn't you ever bring your uh, Vaporeon? And she was like, oh, because you had a shell gone. And then I asked her, uh, why didn't you ever bring, why didn't you bring your Alolan Sand Slash in the third match? And she was like, well, actually, I forgot what she said, but it made a lot of, <laughs> it made a lot of sense when she said it, right? And so I got so lucky, dude. I got so lucky. It was insane. Like the prediction was just on point. Uh, on this day and crazy like this happened after Chimchar uh, community day so I was exhausted man big shout out to the tournament organizers thank you so much for organizing and uh, hosting prizes for uh, this tournament that I got lucky in okay <laughs> shout out to Rizachi Monkey One and Earl Ketchum also guys check out Earl's uh, Instagram he's got some nice AR shots and uh, yeah shout out to the community that hosted the tournament the BGC Raiders also thank you to the participants who came from Chimchar Community Day the BGC Alliance and the BGC URC thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you learned something remember to leave a like comment down below GG Rizachi, GG, okay? It was her weighted cup, and I got lucky, man. I got lucky, dude. I got so lucky. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Ding that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.